Hey, what's up guys? Austin back here. Another video. A little bit uh, wild scenery here. Um, sitting on the tailgate. Got the dog patch sticker right there. Kurt Singer Sunrise Outfitters there. Saddlebrook Outdoors right there. Big Chevy across the back of the truck. Um, I'm actually sitting outside for a reason. And no, it's not just to be cold. Cause that's what I am right now. Um, I've been pouring some jigs, getting a order ready to go out. Don't mind these crazy flaps. I know I look like an Eskimo, but um, I've been pouring some jig heads, pouring my personal jigs and stuff. By the way, I always suggest the 100 mile an hour rain suit. It's very warm, but um, told y'all big things was coming. A very big purchase. So, there's Dad's little boat back there, right there, and here is my boat. That's right, folks. I got me a bass boat. It is a 18-foot-9 Javelin 389TE Evinrude 150 V6 to Paris vessel. Um, does need some work here a little bit. I installed these yesterday. Um, need a piece of carpet there, but I don't care. I don't care about the carpet. Not worried about it. Need a piece back there. Not worried about no carpet in it. It's gonna be fished out of. But this boat holds a lot of uh, a lot of space in my heart because it was actually a good friend of mine, um, Brady Bridges. Yep, it was his boat. Um, this was his boat, and a lot of y'all I know has subscribed to Carson Rainey Bass Fishing and stuff. And y'all seen this boat in that video. This is actually his boat. Um, not going to touch on that story. It still bothers me to this day. But um, this is his boat, and now it's my boat. Um, it's actually been painted over. Um, it does have the regular fiberglass under it. Trailer's been painted and everything. On North Floor colors, blue and green. You know how we do it. Big North Floor fan here. And I do go to South Florida Girls Games. Big shout out to them. Congratulations on being region champs. Y'all beat Corbin. Um, but anyway, get back to the video. 150 Evan Rude um, four bladed prop on it. So I've never had a four bladed prop before, but um, 389 TE got plenty of storage. Like y'all know where to see, I got some stuff in it now. But let's just climb on up, let's climb in this thing. Ooh. all right this is not gonna stay like this these seats is coming out not a fan of the bucket seat deal just not comfortable at all to me um actually for one rod box it's actually pretty deep pretty deep little rod box um and the live wheels is huge like look how big that live wheel is that live wheel is huge um, storage compartments pretty big bucket seats is coming out though um, got the bilge pump all that good fun stuff power trim um, navigation lights got a spotlight up there I'm going to put my two hummingbird grass on here. Um, that in there is kind of shallow. I wish it had another compartment right here, but I know you can't because the rod sock. I mean the rod box. But it makes up for it in the center. Center one has plenty of storage. But um, that's that. Got a motor guide. 
trolling motor up there. And yeah, this is going to be me. Um, very happy, very happy I got this boat. Not just a boat, but this boat. I've been working with it. Been working with the deal on getting it and everything. Um, crazy um, battery box back here. This battery box is huge. Um, it's 24 volt. Got two trolling motor batteries going to it. And then got one big starting battery. What I'm actually going to do is actually, if I get the trolling motor off my dad's boat, which is at Minn Kota, and put that in on it, then I'm actually going to have one graph um, battery and light battery for just my batteries and lights. And then I'm going to have one battery for my trolling motor because it's just a 12 volt trolling motor. It's on my dad's boat. This is 24, so this one here would be my lights and my graph. This one here would be my trolling motor one. That one there would be my starting and everything. It actually has an oil sending unit on it. I'm not sure if that's a proper term or not, but it's just where you ain't got to mix your gas and your oil like in Dad's boat. You just pour your oil into here and then it automatically sends it in with your gas. The gas tank, I think, is like a 20 some gallon. It sits right under the seats here. It even says it right here. Warning fuel tank directly behind this panel and panel under seats. Never drill, screw, or modify either panel if fuel is punctured undetected leakage could lead to a fire or explosion so i know where i'm not drilling is behind them seats but it has new tires on her um, new spare on her um here's something i actually and i actually done re replace my winch rope here here's actually something pretty neat um let's see here so, and no, I don't really know why I'm down here. I'm just kind of, there we go. It has a ranger tongue on it. So if y'all know how these lock or anything, ow, let's pinch my hand. Oh, well, but I know how they lock, but if you know like a protective lock and stuff on it, please let me know. I'm actually going to lock her down here. But uh, got spotlight on her. Got my rail lights here. Not sure how they work. Um, kind of got it blind. Um, the guy was something. Huh? No way. Don't tell me I have storage here, too. That is, if I do, that's so cool. No, I don't. Not sure why that's there because it's not stored i didn't think so might be in here huh. nope but um not sure why that was there yes i am bleeding i will don't really care but um old brady bridge is right there javelin the pro's choice i'm actually Gonna leave Brady's name on here. Me and him was pretty good buddies in elementary. But um yeah. Um if y'all have any names for the boat, drop it down in the comments. You know I name everything. I name my white dodge truck white lightning. I name my cat eye a desert storm. Name dad's little bass tracker down there, the SS Mena. So Y'all have a name for the old javelin? Let me know. Um, I've been thinking about some names. Maybe you could come up with one better. And 
that's about it but um i'm actually gonna hit my bilge pump really quick let some of this water run out it's been raining here in kentucky london just hit this red switch there come up here power on bilge pump on so there we go got the bilge pump running right now um check that light out real quick got the light on back there um, that's a assist light right there pretty cool i hadn't really got to play around with this a whole lot don't know what that is but um manual aerator bilge pump now let's see what these do uh driver's light okay driving light see if it works good to go she works bilge pump still running not sure what this is whoa yeah big old green lights on the side go north flower boys you got her on both sides i do believe yep you got her right there that's the middle all lit up looking pretty and green um let's see here shut that off set this is don't know what that does roof lighting maybe it's this light up here no as you can tell i don't know much about boats um side light side light do we have side light no turn that off spotlight do we have a spotlight no we do not led light bar do we have a led light bar no we do not weird um so got the driving light that's my big spotlight up there got the zombie light got the zombie lights right there and I think that's it right there. Um, do we have power train? Yep. We do. That's good. Um, what's this do? That's a bilge pump. Sis light. I need that front one to work. Oh, there we go. There's that front one working right there. Then got the green right there. This side's out. We'll have to replace them. So that's good. We know what they're going to do now. Um, now see. See what the down button does. That down button don't do nothing. Turns that on. So, But then when we push it up. And that one up. We got that one and that one. So maybe the down button. Oh. I turned my bilge pump off. So that there's that. Oh, where is what that little thing does? It's a light. We got a light there. We got a light up here. We got the green lights right here. And then that. Um, a lot of water. A lot of rain. Um, I just pumped this out last night to you. Bilge pump manual. So I'm curious about something. We turned the power off to the bilge and everything. Now we're... Nope, nothing. Okay, turn power back on, turn bilge on. 
Well, I stand here and talk, I'm gonna let that run a little bit. Play around with switches a little bit more. And see what she does here. But, um, yeah, guys, I am tickled to death. Um, gonna throw some oil in her and hopefully go run her Sunday and see how she does. Uh, this old boat ain't been on, ain't hit water in about a year, as I know of. Um, Jimmy uh, started it, which is Brady's dad. Start it good. And if y'all know what this is for, oh, I think that's a choke. I don't know. I seriously don't. Um, but if y'all know, just let me know. I do believe that was a choke that I was not supposed to mess with. Oh, well. I'll get her lined out. So that pumps. I'm going to see if these does up here. So we got time aerator. Not messing with no aerators. Ain't got no fish in there yet. Um, see what this does. No lights on. Okay. Okay. We got that light. Let's see what this does. Green light. Nope. So my backing works there up here don't know what this does don't know what that does don't know what that does okay so we got trim up down up down so that works we are good to go guys but uh me and dad's gonna take it yeah she's running all the water out i'll go ahead and shut her down Power off, build y'all. But uh, nonetheless, guys, thank y'all for watching this video. Um, hopefully, I can get some of y'all out on the lake um, in the old boat there. But nonetheless, guys, I do thank y'all for watching this video. Y'all be sure if y'all like the video, if you even like the boat, give this video a like. I don't ask for that often. Subscribe to the channel. It's a little red box there. Hit the notification bell. And as always, be sure to check out, hold on, Saddlebrook Outdoors, Kurt Singer Sunrise Outfitters, Dog Patch Fishing, which is Dog Patch Trading Post, the tackle spot and as always guys be sure to give god our glory be safe have fun do something nice for somebody please and i'm out boom